Uh, hello, and, uh, welcome to Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. We're making a new character, because the last one, I don't think was very good. I'm looking for the one with the- whoa. Okay. 12, 9, 20, 12. Sorcerer has- no, Pyromancer has 12 strength, so does Cleric. I think Bandit has the highest strength stat. The thing is, I really like night class, but Bandit does have the highest strength and the highest health, right? No, Knight does. Hmm. All right, we need a name. Can't even finish the name. Cool, um... I think it's this one that looks like- yeah, that one looks like Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, here we are. Dark Souls. God, I forgot how fat you look. What? Right. It's not Y, it's A. Alright, I actually don't know how to do the firebomb cheese yet, but... There we go, hell yeah. Nice. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. Nice, now you're probably wondering what my plan is. Well, there's a weapon that I really want to use. <laughs> That's a pretty cool weapon. It's a big sword. Apparently does a lot of damage, oh. too. There it is. Nice. Oh. Nice, that's all we needed from there, by the way. Uh, that's actually the first time I've ever even went for that weapon. Mm-hmm. The question is, can I wield it? No. Well, the good thing is, is that we got more uh, souls, so... What the fuck?! Why can't I kill the rat anymore? Dude. I used to be able to do it so well. God damn it. Now my weapon doesn't fucking hit the damn thing. There we go. Sorry if I get mad. It's just because I'm mad. And I'm I'm crazy.
Okay. Hey, there we go. Where's this humanity? Nice. We could use that. Nice. And whoops, wrong, wrong thing. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to use the souls that we grabbed. Still can't use it. Fuck. Damn it. It's for Capper Demon. <laughs> okay, so let's use two of these and you and then reverse hollowing and then kindle What even is the strength requirement? I actually should have checked first before trying to use it. Uh, 24. Oh, dex. I have 9. could probably, like, get a level of dex really quickly just by... the lock on in this game. It's sarcasm because it's not very good actually. Okay. I think I can wield it now. There we are. Alright. 
Nice, there we go. <laughs> I love that. I love that animation, that's amazing. They very much improved it in Elden Ring, that's for sure. Where are you? Best character in the game. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not He's in the line. engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. Yes. I made it. Mm-hmm. This is a shortcut, by the way, for those wondering. It's an epic shortcut. <sighs> Alright, you can't fast climb in this game. I keep forgetting that. Maybe you can, maybe it's just not the same button, but like... Uh, <laughs> alright then. Man, I, I should really use <laughs> humanities more. Holy shit. God damn. I guess because summon signs are in like the most weird spots, maybe that's why. But like, damn, you know, that, that was kind of fun, honestly. <laughs> Felt like I had friends. <laughs> The joke is that I do have friends, they just don't play this game. But yeah, say, oh you cheated, you didn't even fight Belgar or Goyles properly. <coughs> you know what they say, if it's a feature in the game, it's not cheating. Unless it's magic, in which case, yes, that is very much so cheating. If you are a magic build, then you are very much a cheater, because... You know, magic is for people who don't like people. To have fun. 
how muscular my dude is. Jesus Christ. I'll go to Andre first, then I'll get the Fire and Lake shortcut. Do I have the orange soapstone? No, I don't. Oh, I have a Firekeeper soul. Nice. That'll be useful. If you don't know what that does, it, um, increases your Estus, uh, charge. No. Increases your Estus, uh, effectability. That's it. There we go, plus five. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Nice. A plus five boy hander. Hell yeah. souls god damn dude nice now i can get the firelink shortcut probably should have leveled up after i went to firelink but because then that means that these enemies are back and um yeah Yep. <laughs> You're probably learning something new every day. That bell that rings, that's uh, every time someone uh, rings the bell of awakening. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Should I grab the grass cursed and the elite knight armor? Maybe not yet. Maybe later when I'm prepared, oh. You know, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Then write this stuff down here. Which I think is pretty cool that they did this, by the way. Nice, homework bones. Morning star and a free talisman, nice. Uh, cracked red eye orb. Four of them? What's that? Yeah. I won't be using those because we're not really going to engage in the. And a Lloyd's Talisman for Lloyd's Talismans. Okay. Well, now, you seem to have. you want our trade. <laughs> Thank you, kind.
Uh, what the hell happened? There it is. Oh, strength. Yep. All right, cool. You leave me no choice. And if this is our fate, so be it. Nice. And then we got five humanity from that. Nice. Nice, we did it legit this time, boys. Hmm. All the signs mysteriously disappeared. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... one yeah might as well right it'll be faster than running all the way back because this is it for dark souls i think this is episode one where i get done what i've already got done mm -hmm. look at how much humanity i have oh my god I think I've done like four or five times, but look at that, 11. <laughs> God damn. So yeah, after we level up, I think that's going to be it for this episode, which I'll probably combine with the first video I recorded. And I'll call that like episode one or something, who knows. Um, but yeah, 
You know, we got four bosses down, not including Asylum Demon, so that would be three. Because uh, Asylum Demon doesn't really count with this build, because, you know, you can't have a great sword for Asylum Demon. Uh, if you didn't know what we're doing, um, I should probably tell you. Being Dark Souls with the Ultra Great Swords only, sorry, that's what this is, is an Ultra Great Sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're beating Dark Souls with only Ultra Great Swords. Uh, not including Asylum Demon, of course, because without cheating... Uh, without cheating, you can't beat the Asylum Demon with... Or with a, oh, hey, cool. You attacked me. You were fucking running at me. Guy's haircut, it kind of freaked me out. I don't like ball cuts. Anyways, uh, but yeah, that's that's it for Dark Souls Episode 1. I will see you in the next one, which will probably not be recorded tomorrow, but... Oh well. Mm-hmm. 18, goddamn. Yeah, that's it. I will see you tomorrow or next time. Sorry. Uh, is there a wave? Goodbye. There we go. Actually, let me just... <laughs> Anyways. Yep. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. We got like an hour or so to edit the video, and then I can publish it tomorrow. And then that'll be it for that video, and then, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. That's it.